Hi, I'm Terry from Wakanda Boats here in Glen Elder, Kansas, and we're also in Republican City, Nebraska. And what we got here is a new 2023 Lund 2075 TIE. So we're going to show you kind of how we keep it in stock and the different options we stock it with. We try to keep a number of these in stock, this one here being shown in white and silver. We definitely have black and silver as well. Uh, but this is one of my favorite models Lund offers. This is the largest of the TIE family at 20 feet, 8 inches in overall length. And it just, it, it, uh, it works for a multitude of different boaters and fishermen. Uh, I've got guys that take, you can literally take it on almost any size body of water. I've got guys that take it on real small lakes. And uh, I got guys that take trips to Lake Erie and the Great Lakes every year as well. So it's just a great big water boat as well. Uh, lots of room in it. And uh, it just, if you're on a big body of water, you, it just gives you that extra sense of security as well with these taller sides that the tie, the ties give you. So uh, one of the most popular boats, uh, this one here again is being shown in white and silver. We always opt them with the premium graphics and what that gives you is this look right here and that centers the Lund logo in the middle. Uh, so that's the premium graphics, custom bunk trailer is going to give you the nicer wheels and fenders. Um, back here, of course, they're always going to come with their low guide standard now. And then they have the retractable tie downs as well. Any of our Lund Shorelander trailers are pretty much going to have this. Of course, you have a nice boarding platform here on the back, telescoping four-step four step ladder. So <clears throat> this boat works great for recreational boating too. If you're doing any water sports, uh, and you got just a lot of room in it too to take your family along or, or friends and family. We always max out the horsepower on these TIEs, and this is the 250 horsepower. We do the Pro XS, so that's the Mercury V8 250 horse. Most guys that buy this boat do a lot of trolling, so we usually always stock it with a 15 Pro kicker as well. So mo ours in stock are going to already include the, the, the kicker motor on this along with the power steering also. So that's all, another upgrade we always do on the 2075 TIE. I think that pretty much covers the outside. So now that we're inside the boat here, just notice how much room I actually have in this. It comes standard with four pedestal seats, plus you get the jump seats like you do in all the TIE models. So you got easy, comfortable seating for six, and you can actually seat more up on the bow if you wanted to. So there's plenty of room if you're, if you're doing recreational boating or water sports, or if you just got a lot of people with you that you want to take fishing. So you just got a lot, of, a lot of room in this boat. You can see I've got tons of room between me and the guy in front of me here. Um, a nice comfortable flip up jump seat here in the back. Of course they flip down. This is a nice sized uh, back casting deck. They're going to come standard with, uh, well this is a seat base. One of your pedestal seats will move up here if you want to fish off the back deck. This is the standard ski toe pylon base. Uh, they don't come with a pole. We always stock the poles if you want them. That way they just drop right in place. Uh, here is your main live well on this model. Really good size live well, and this is a removable divider in here as well with the minnow bucket. One thing they changed on, on the TIE and Pro-V models this year is these latches. These are way upgraded latches from what they've had in the past. Uh, so I'm excited to see that. Very nice latches on all the compartments now. Uh, you can see here for the guys sitting here in the back, there is a couple slots here for your needle nose pliers. Uh, of course, a couple drink holders as well. <clears throat> Again, when we do the 2075 TIE, we always do the power steering, so you're going to have and when we have the kicker motor with that power steering, we're always going to have two batteries on this model. So under here, one battery will stow away. That's going to be where your accessory battery goes. And inside here is with the power steering pump. Uh, and then your crank battery will be over on this side as well. And you still have some storage back behind that also. And then, of course, you have some cutouts here on both sides. So you got some storage there as well. And then down on the floor, we always opt in the snap-in carpet. And so that just really makes, that way you got the comfort of the car carpet if you're barefoot doing water sports or anything like that. And if you're just salmon fishing or trolling or whatever the case may be, it, it does come out and you don't have to worry about getting it uh, bloody from the fish or whatever the case. So it comes out to clean really easy. Um, the sport top is another thing we always add in with ours. So it's gonna include the sport top we just do the sport top with walkthrough curtain, but if you ever wanted to add the side curtains or anything like that, it's easily easy to zip onto this existing top. And you can see it stows away nice and out of the way. Here on the starboard side, we have a nice lockable compartment. You can put a lot of stuff here, a lot of storage there, open storage. Uh, and then over here on the port side, you can actually fit rods if you want to, but it goes quite a ways the length of the gunnel. There's a lot of storage here on the port side. Again, that's a lockable compartment. 
And now your main rod, <coughs> main rod box is down here on the floor on this tie. -y. That holds 10 rods, plus you can put the extra ones in the port side here. And here on the passenger side, you have a nice nice uh, glove box inside here is a 12 volt outlet as well to charge your phone if you wanted to. Uh, really nice dash, two different drink holders and grab handle here. There is some cargo netting down below on both sides as well. Uh, over here on the driver helm, of course we do have the tilt steering also. We, we, uh, they do come standard with the kicker stereo. So you can Bluetooth this straight to your phone. Um, nice, nice stereo system they've been using for quite a while now. You can't, you do have some USB ports here also. Uh, gauges are nice, perfectly front and centered, and you have a nice cutout space up here for any size screen you want to put. You can easily put a 12 inch screen here if you wanted to. Uh, again, there's more storage here below, and then the switch is also right here, easy to see and, and get to. And then over here you can see, we always do the DTS controls too. So you can see this has got digital throttle shift controls. We always do that on the 2075 TIEs. And then back behind here is the kicker controls. So this runs your little kicker motor for trolling. Now as we walk up to the bow, there is another storage compartment here. And this is kind of a dual purpose deal. It adds as a step to make it easier to jump up to the bow. But uh, it's open storage there so you can put it's a good spot for those plano tackle trays or, or whatever you want to put there. And then up on the bow, you can see you got on the 2075 tie especially, you got a lot of room up here. And the tie are all designed to uh, be able to seat people up here also. So this actually converts to where you can actually see, have some leg space if you wanted to seat a couple extra people up here. And they, they do have bow cushions as well. If you want them to, wanted to add them, you can to really make it comfortable up here if you're going to have those extra people. But uh, for when you're not using that, you have a nice uh, storage compartment here. There's, there's a lot of a lot of dry storage there. And then you have a bow live well up here on the starboard side. Nice size live well for a second live well. Uh, a little more storage up here in front of that. And again, you got the bow cargo nets too for the stuff you're trying to easily access. Uh, here in the center on the tie, on the 20, or all the TIEs actually, this is where your trolling motor batteries are going to go. And that's the perfect place to have the weight of the trolling motor batteries to help keep the boat planed out quicker. Uh, but anyway, this is your trolling motor battery storage. And then you have a really large compartment over here on the port side. That's the travel cover. Of course, ours are going to include the travel cover also, but just a lot of room in here. And it goes back up under there quite a ways. So, I mean, this is a huge compartment. And then again, you got some storage up here. Again, another lockable compartment on the very tip of the bow. So, a lot of storage here. You got the pop up cleats. Very convenient for tying up to the dock or. I think that pretty much covers the 2075 TIE. If I missed anything or if anybody has any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or email us. Our emails and phone numbers are on our website, uh, wakandaboats.com. And I'm Terry. Thanks for watching.